Eleanor's hair just annoying them in this weather, or is it just me? <laughs> I literally washed it, what, yesterday? No, Sunday, it's now Tuesday. Why does it look greasy? I'm getting it done on Friday because it is driving me insane. <laughs> I mean, I did do a workout earlier, but it's just not the point. It just shouldn't be. <sighs> do you know why? Why? It's because I didn't blow dry yet. I let it dry. Just naturally, didn't even brush it when I got out of the shower. Just let it dry because I was hungover. Also, in case you're wondering why there wasn't a video on Monday, it was because I was hungover all day Sunday and I wasn't even planning on drinking or going out on Saturday. So that's why. So no video on Monday. You can blame Laura. That's all I'm going to say. She got me drunk <laughs> on Saturday night. <laughs> Hello, you beautiful people. Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm all tangled up. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, if you are new here, <laughs> please don't forget to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and turn that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of my future videos. I am uploading on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Sometimes there will be some bonus videos in between, so make sure you've got it turned on so you don't miss any of them. Although, saying that, I didn't upload on Monday because Laura got me drunk on Saturday night and I was hungover all day Sunday, so I didn't film. <laughs> so, it's now Tuesday night and I was like, I'm going to film ready for Wednesday, so I'm organised because <laughs> I had nothing pre-filmed. So, yeah. Here we are. <laughs> Today we're going to be testing a full face of Be Perfect. So excited to be doing something that's a different brand as well, but also to finally be testing these because I've had these since a Christmas gift set last year. I know. Wild. Wild. So we have lots of new things for me to try from Be Perfect and then we also have some little powder blushes which I've already been trying and um, been using these for quite a while now but we will also use them. Today we have all sorts. We have eyeshadow primers, foundation, we have lipstick, lip liners, face primer, mascara, lashes. We have it all. So let's just get straight into it. My shots are riding up my Bellington. Wait. Let's just get straight into it anyway. So let's start with the face primer. So this is the Perfection Primer Silky Matte Face Primer. Just looks like this. It says it's a silky smooth face primer enriched with Camellia. Camellia oils, how do you say that? Camellia. Vitamin A and Vitamin E. And it's meant to specifically be formulated to mattify and minimise the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles and pores, as well as improving makeup coverage. And it's meant to be lightly fragranced. It comes like this with a little pump which I really really en ooh, enjoy your pump it just farted on me hello anyone home oh someone's coming oh oh my god it's clear okay I didn't I don't know why but I expected it to have a color to it I don't know why but it just looks like this it's a bit like benefit professional kind of vibe it's like that silky matte texture i'm just applying it on one half of my face to begin with mm, i must admit i don't really think it's actually done anything for my pores let's try it no yeah it might be covering them up so that the foundation then glides on top of them but in regards to actually just getting rid of them without putting anything else on top of it like if you could use it by itself it's not minimizing my pores at all but this literally is making my skin feel like a baby's bum it's so soft i really really like the smell of it it's definitely like a fruity smell really enjoy that so yeah that is the face primer so i have this bed boy to try today this is the be perfect cosmetics manifest aspire palette which looks like this it looks beautiful so it has a bronzer it has a blusher it has a really really dark highlight which i don't think i'm going to be able to get away with and it also has some eyeshadow shades in this i will say about be perfect is whenever they bring out a palette where it has face parts in it or they've actually brought out like a face palette before it's all really really like i don't want to say dark shade because they're not they're not even catering towards darker skin tones. I feel like they're just kind of catering, my hair's doing it. Like they're just kind of catering towards people that fake tan, if that makes any sense. 
like it's not light enough for us really like lighter skinned complexions but it's also not deep enough for darker complexions it's like right in the middle of that kind of like fake tan colour range if that I don't know if that makes any sense that's a vibe that I get whenever they bring out anything to do with like the face and the palette you know what I mean but yeah we're gonna try this today I have the perfect prime eyeshadow priming base it's meant to be long wearing for your eyeshadow crease free vibrant colour and also a smooth application it says achieve the perfect prime for carving out brows and prepping eyes for shadow the lightweight formula gives ultimate stain power for vibrant and long lasting color so it's for best results apply to your eye area and gently buff buff of a small fluffy brush or beauty sponge to a translucent finish no need to set and then you apply your eyeshadow okay so this is ooh, no this is my recycling this is just what it looks oh okay i wasn't expecting Oh, it's got a little door for applique. Oh, I really enjoy that. I feel like it just makes it so much easier to just whack on your eyeballs. Mm. I know they've been doing quite a few deals on TikTok shop. Be perfect. So I'd really recommend if you... It's very dark, isn't it? I'd really recommend if you actually have like TikTok shop where you live to have a little look because it's got honestly got such good deals. I know they've been doing a lot of good deals on the foundation, which we will try in a momento. So let's go in with my Peaches and Cream PC 29 brush. Oh my god, this is, this is actually quite dark for me. Okay, actually it blends in really nicely, doesn't it? So I've just popped on some of the Revolution little tip. Because I'm thinking we could do like a smoky wing and we can practice. Because I really remember looking for a new like night out foundation. And I want to know whether this Be Perfect one is a contender or not. So I'm thinking about doing like a little bit of like a smoky night out kind of glam as well. Get my practice in because I'm going out next weekend. So I'm taking a Lily England 103 brush and we're going to go in with the shade Seek, which is this warm toned brown. And I'm going to use this to kind of shape exactly where I want the wing to be. I've been seeing that like siren eye like all over TikTok as well. So it kind of gives me bit of inspiration from that and I'm just going to wipe off the excess on my makeup towel and then go back through and just kind of diffuse it and then just to stop my eyes from creasing because I'm not going to be putting anything on the lid really I'm going to go in with a Spectrum A07 brush and with the shade Wish which is this colour here which is practically like my skin tone <laughs> kind of vibe maybe like a little a little bit darker i'm just gonna pack that where my eyes kind of crease in and that'll just kind of set it it said that it was crease proof but i honestly like wouldn't slag the products off for it creasing and it's saying that it's crease proof because my eyeballs are like have got excess, excess skin so that's got really nothing to do like no product is ever going to be right for me like that do you know what I mean but I think when it says crease proof I think it means like when you put all your eyeshadow on I don't think it means like when it's wet well I wouldn't it's like slag it off for that anyway <laughs> so let's go in with a darker shade so I'm going to go in with a smaller brush I'm going to take this is a peaches and cream pc 14 brush which just looks like this and I'm going to go in with the shade want which is oop, this darker brown and I'm basically going to put this in the same place but just further down i don't think this tape's in the right place okay we'll just we'll just see what it looks like <laughs> and we'll just take it from there see i'm just applying that there like so and then going back in with the shade seek in that same size brush and then just blend in it out like this so far i'm just trusting the process i'm going to go in with a little brush from morphe this is the morphe m5 or 8 brush the little one and we're going to go in with the shade ambitious which is the black in the palette and i'm going to put this like literally as tight to my waterline as possible all right i've changed my camera angle a little bit does this help like can you see this a little bit better please let me know I'm just never happy like I'm always trying to like change it up and in case you don't know as well 
I have been uploading on my vlog channel. So I'll leave that link down below, which is called um, Life of Lou. So if you want to go check it out and subscribe, that'd be real nice. Just shows a bit more of like my life outside of me filming my tutorials. I really, really like uploading on there. So that's that one so far. So then I'm going to go back in with the one shade and the same brush and just kind of diffuse it. I don't think, I feel like I've not done this big enough, but I'd rather it be too small and then build it up bigger, do you know what I mean? And then again, going back in with the even bigger brush in the seek shade, which is the lighter one. My problem is as well, is I never really have like a go-to like night out kind of look. So when I get ready for a night out, it takes me absolutely ages. Like ask my patrons, when I get ready for a night out, I'm always the last person to be ready. Like everyone be taking pictures and I'm like still stood there sticking the lash on or um, trying to like basically like put my lipstick on or something. Like I'm just an absolute nightmare for it. So I think what I want to do is I want to put like just a little sparkle at the front. So there's three different shimmers in here. There's obviously one that's meant to be like a big highlighter, but it's just going to be way, I think it's going to be way too dark for me. It's like this one here. Let me see what it's like. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot there was stuff on that finger. Let me just try and blend it out. Yeah, you can see it's got a bit of a, sh a shadow to it. And then we've got this one, which would be really pretty. Yeah, there's probably like a highlight shade that I'll have to like mix with something else. Um, but what one do I want? I think I actually want the big highlighter shade on my actual eyeball. I think that'll go really nicely because it's not too like blinding like the dream one is. So um, this is what it looks like. This is called Pursue. And I'm going to try something a bit weird. I'm going to put it on with a fluffy brush. This is the PC35 one for Peaches and Cream. So I just want it to be like a... Like just like a light something. <gasps> I'm not even joking. I love how this eye looks come out, and it's so like just simple and cute. It's like a brown, like smoky um, eyeliner on the bottom would be really really nice as well because it is quite warm on the top, isn't it? Okay, okay. I'm really really happy so far. Just taking a little Peaches and Cream PC38 brush, a little small fluffy one, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Dream, which is the white shimmer. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful in the palette. Alex will love this one. I think Alex is actually like behind as well and also needs to do her full face of Be Perfect video as well. And I'm pretty sure she probably has the exact same palette because we both bought the same Christmas gift set and it's probably the majority of the same products that we're using, <laughs> no me and her. So I have, let me just zoom you out a little bit. So I have the foundation to try next. So I've already tried this once and I think I put too much on because it's actually quite thick and really full coverage. I'm not going to put as much on today and see whether that makes it look even better. So this is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Chrome Cover Matte Foundation. I got this off Depop. The, like I said, they are doing it on TikTok shop at the moment and have been doing some really good deals of it. Mine is in the shade W5, which is more like my fake tan kind of shade because I got it more for like a night out. So if I'm going to have my tea and coming back, I think I've done them too high. It looks really good when they're like this. But with my eyes like this, it just looks like it's just a little bit too high. Like I should have done them a bit more like this. But this is how we learn. This is how we learn. So anyways, as I was saying before my tea was ready, I'm going to put on some of the foundation, but I'm going to put on less than what I would normally put on because it's really full coverage, like really full coverage. And I'm going to be using their sponge. This is my new best blend. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> sponge. And this is just what it looks like. It's super soft. I've just wet it. So I'm just going to go in with one pump and see where that gets us. It's going to be a little bit dark for me because obviously it is my kind of like night out foundation. So I'm going to try one side with the sponge. I don't normally like to use a sponge to be honest with you for my foundation. I don't mind it like as like a just kind of setting it all down after I've blended it all in properly. But normally I find it takes away a lot of coverage but it might work really well with this one because that's spread really nicely. 
The biggest test for me is always my nose because foundation just does not stick to my nose. It's just an absolute nightmare. I'm just going to do my full nose with the sponge. Okay, okay. Like, let's get, can you see how it doesn't go like right in my little crack of my nostril? <laughs> I always have that with foundations and I always have to like make sure I blend them in. You can see I'm a pause there actually. My pause and my bullet heads. Can you see how the sponge has like really sheared it out. Let's try the brush on the other end, on the other end, on the other side. I've been using the Peaches and Cream PC 04 brush recently and just kind of like tapping foundation into my skin. You know what? It's very weird. I mustn't have put as much on my, on my forehead up here because that looks more sheer, but on my cheek it looks more coverage than this cheek that I did with the sponge. <laughs> so definitely use a brush if you want to have a little bit more coverage. Or use a sponge if you wanted to kind of just sheer it out just a little bit, but it is very, it's a very thick foundation. I know some of my patrons like absolutely swear by it. For concealer, I'm just gonna pop on some of the Too Faced Born This Way. Concealer, this is in this shade Snow, it's just a little mini that I've got. I always find this one's really good if I've got like a foundation where it's just a little bit too dark for me because it's not as stark as what my other concealers can be and then just using the other end of the sponge just for underneath the eyes I'm gonna pop some of the Fenty loose powder underneath my eyes and for the rest of my face I did a full face test in like Fenty the other day if you want to go check that out I'll leave it linked down below if not it's on my channel anyway okay so now we're looking flat and met let's try the bronzer that is in the actual palette this bad boy here they have since brought out a like a bronzer cream contour hybrid but i just haven't picked it up to be honest with you so let's go in with a little bronzer brush i'm just going to use this is a i heart revolution elf brush so we're going to go in with the shade desire which is this color here which for like thick tanned lucy is fine but oh my god it's dropped it in the eyeshadow <laughs> Some. But yeah, for normal Lucy, I think it would be just a touch, touch too dark. So I'm just going to tap this onto my skin. I didn't want to use any cream bronzer because obviously right now I'm currently darker than I'm meant to be anyway. <laughs> this foundation is really pretty, but I don't think I would wear it for a night out. I feel like I'm very like heavy in it. Not as much as what I did when I tried it for the first time. I definitely must have put too much on because I wasn't like used to it being so full coverage. But if you want like full glam, really, really thick foundation, then this is going to be the one for you. I just feel like it's just, it doesn't, I don't look at it and go, oh yeah, my skin looks beautiful. It might just be because I've not finished off my makeup yet. A foundation that I tried the other day that was really nice was the original Maybelline, um, Maybelline like stay, what's it called? The 24 hour one, but I've got it here. Super stay, like the original one before they changed it up. And I never really used to like it, never used to get on with it. I used to think that was too thick. And now I really like it. So I think I need to revisit old foundations because the whole reason I'm looking for like a new night out foundation is because my, <laughs> it's because my MAC one is just not doing it for me anymore. So I think my skin's changed too much. My MAC one just doesn't seem to stick to my head. I don't know what it is with it anymore, but it just doesn't seem to want to stay on my face. So that is what the bronzer looks like. Really pretty. I probably would use that again, to be fair. And we have a blush in here, which I'm actually going to use instead of using my Scotch ones, because I've already used these before, but I'll show you them just in case you want to see. So I got the shade Magma. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sexual, get it, buy it, right now. <laughs> and then I also got the shade Melt, which again, I have been loving, beautiful, sexy, buy it right now. I didn't ever buy the highlighters that came out in the same packaging, because they all look like they were too dark for me. So yeah, again, I just feel like it's not, it's not catered for light complexions, but it's not catered for deep complexions. I feel like it's like right, it's more like, I want to say in the middle, but it's not in the middle. Do you know what I mean? Like it's more, I keep saying like fake tanned because that was, when I look at it, I go, oh, I might be able to get away with that when I'm fake tanned, but that's about it. So I know like obviously it's not that 
that colour is not fake tan colour. I just, for me, that's fake tan colour. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> I hope it does. But anyway, I'm going to take a Lux 504 large angled brush, which looks like this. I'm just going to wipe off whatever's on the brush already. And then let's go in with the shade Strive, which looks really, really nice. I'm going to tap this right on the top of my cheeks. That's really pretty. I think I really like the other ones because they have a gorgeous like shimmer to them as well. That's really pretty. Okay. Okay. Okay, be perfect. That's cute. Mm. I have got like a few be perfect eyeshadow palettes that I haven't tried that I bought as well, like on my bookcase. So I might include them in like a shop my stash because I'm going to be starting to do them soon. That's so pretty. Oh my god, that's such a pretty blush. Okay, that's really nice. I like some. And then I'm going to go in with just a little highlighter brush. This is just from a Christmas gift set from I Heart Revolution. And I'm going to go in with a mixture of the big one, which obviously was a little bit too dark for me, but literally just a tiny bit in there. And with this one, because this one's gonna be too stark white on my skin, but that one's got the nice gold undertone that I like. So let's just go for it, dick, dog, do, and all that plaver. <laughs> and then just mix them together. Okay, that's pretty. <gasps> okay, that's really pretty. I think it has got a little bit of my old <laughs> highlighter on it, but it's okay. We can make a little concoction. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit, I should keep saying okay. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Dream, which is the lighter one, just to lighten it a little bit, because I'm getting a little bit of a cast, that we can see. But, <laughs> blinding, blinding. Okay, but let's try the mascara. So this is just what the mascara looks like. It's called the Lash Out mascara it says achieve length defiant lashes with be perfect cosmetic lash out mascara a hydrating gel based formula which immediately amplifies lashes upon application custom brush designed for maximum volume from root to tip Ooh, she's pretty okay that's really cute let's see what the brush is like oh okay i was expecting like a big fat one that i don't like i like, guess chunky but it's the fabric of brush that i really like like the plasticky fabric i like that let me get my eyelash curlers. Okay, so lashes curled, and let's see what this bear boy is like. Ooh. Let's color my nose. I went to sniff it, but I ended up just putting it on my nose. I think it's more of like a long, fluttery kind of lash. I'm just gonna try and get rid of the mascara I've managed to get everywhere. By the way, like it's so warm, I don't think I'm gonna bother putting the false lashes on because I need to stop filming and turn my lights off it's way too hot so I think I'm just going to finish it off with the lips instead but that has given me like so much like kind of separation I can't think of the words then separation in length but not really much thickness so yeah yeah it is so warm like when I'm filming recently it's really hard to film and like today at work so obviously you know now that I work for Revolution Monday to Friday now five at work we did like a, a show and tell for like Christmas gift so today I got shown all of the Christmas gift sets advent calendars everything that we're coming out with and I'm filming this video the day before you're seeing it like I'm literally filming this on the Tuesday what is it the Tuesday the 25th today oh Tuesday the 26th of July <laughs> <laughs> I've just been shown all of the Christmas gift sets for this year. So I'm just ready for it to be colder now. I'm ready for Halloween. I've already started receiving Halloween stuff. So I've got like a little box of secret Halloween stuff in the corner that no one knows about. So yeah, I'm just, I'm like months and months ahead content wise in my head. I just can't be dealing with this warm weather. It's really annoying me. That mascara, do you know what? It's, it's beautiful. I didn't think I liked it, but for a normal, like, everyday mascara, I think that's stunning, you know? For some reason, I found it really hard to not get it <laughs> on my actual eyelids. But apart from that, I think it's really, really nice. So just to whack something onto the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with just a little fluffy brush. It's from a Christmas gift set. And I'm going to go in. By the way, there's a lot of, like, fallout with these palettes but it's no like just never bothers me it's not the end of the world I just blow it and it comes off 
<laughs> obviously it'd be a nightmare a little bit if you had like if you're like a professional makeup artist but I'm not so I just blow it it goes it's not an issue but I think I'm gonna go in with the shade seek which is that more warmer brown and I'm gonna whack this just underneath my eyes and then I used the exact two brushes that we use for the little upper wing thing I'm gonna be using the one that we use for the darker brown and the one that we use for the black and just go in with the darker brown just kind of half way it's kind of made my eyes a bit round I wasn't really wanting to do that oh well oh well yeah it's made my eyes the wrong shape that I wanted them to be but we're just practicing practicing a little bit of the blacky black and they're just in the shade ambitious so this is why I think I did my wing too high up because that ideally should have like joined together, do you know what I mean? But like I said, we are just having a little bit of fun, a bit of playing around, all that kind of good stuff. Oh, I'm putting a highlight on my nose. Oh my god, that's blinding. <laughs> so anyways, moving on to the last two products for us to test today. We have the Poutline Lip Liner. This one's in the shade Tame, which is a very loosey colour. Not gonna lie. It's brown, it's really pretty. Ooh, okay. It's not as dark as what I thought, but I think it's gonna go so well with this little wing that we've got going on. So that is what the lip liner looks like. I was hoping it'd be a little bit darker. Makes my lips look nice and plump. But then we're gonna go in with the Pout Start Soft Matte Pout Lipstick in the shade Raw. Oh my God, how beautiful. Does this look? <gasps> the packaging and like the imprint on the lipstick. Shakti. It actually looks a bit pinkier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, it's a bit rough. It's not oh, it's not very creamy. Okay, this isn't my favourite, I'm not gonna lie. It's not my fave. I'm actually gonna put on some of the gloss because this is actually pinkier than I thought it was gonna be. Like it looks orange nude there, do you not think? And I feel like the lip liner looks darker there than what it actually is but it's a really nice combination it's just a little bit harder to apply so I'm going to pop some of this and this is the double glazed iced latte oh it smells like like strawberry sweets or something but it smells really nice oh okay that's nice that's nice not what I expected but nice and then I think this is the final look I would love to know what you think down below it's a bit more like soft glam music vibes let me know if i'm going to do more stuff like this in the future because i feel like a lot of my tutorials are like me being like experimental with some combinations that maybe i wouldn't normally do and not really like my night out kind of look because i never really go well, i do go out more often now but i never used to go on nights out so i don't really have like a go-to look but this is stunning i wonder what this um foundation would be like mixed together with like a glowy illuminator just to make it a bit more glowy because I think it's just a bit I know I have powdered a lot but I think it's just a bit too matte maybe I just need to add a little bit of glow to it. Should I put a bit of spray on see if that helps and um, the candy hairs oh actually right there I have the super dewy spray this is the revolution super dewy spray I don't really meant to shake this but I just naturally shake them I don't know why <laughs> but this might make me a bit more dewy it's more my forehead. My forehead just looks so dry all the time in foundations. It's honestly driving me insane. So this is what it looks like with the setting spray. I feel like it just gives it that little bit more life to it. And I feel like it just makes your highlighter. Like, look how much more glowy my forehead looks. I've powdered, not powdered, but I've just used a powder puff and just pressed the setting spray into my forehead. And I feel like that just has helped so much. So much. I, I'm honestly... So happy that this has turned out. I can imagine that little Be Perfect palette being a really good like go-to, getting ready for a night out kind of palette for me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you in another video on Friday. I haven't got a clue what it's going to be yet because I haven't filmed it. I was hoping to do a Shop My Stash video where I'm just using loads of things from my collection, but I want to do it with no Revolution products in it at all, like nothing, just so that I'm not just doing Revolution all the time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you on Friday. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.